Podcast. You ever think about doing radio? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are stumping in states where polls show a stubbornly tight race. If you're going to vote, we'll need some photo ID. But I'm a 40-year-old white guy who didn't go to college and gets all his news from monitors at gas stations. Showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Singer Michael Bublé and his wife Louisiana announced Friday that their three-year-old son Noah is battling cancer. They said in a Facebook post that he's currently undergoing treatment, but they didn't elaborate. Quote, we have put our careers on hold in order to devote all of our time and attention to helping Noah get well. At this difficult time, we ask only for your prayers and respect for our privacy. We have a long journey in front of us and hope that with the support of family, friends, and fans around the world, we will win this battle, God willing. Mr. Robot star Rami Malek is in talks to play the role of Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody, a movie about the legendary rock band Queen. X-Men director Brian Singer is planning to direct the film. Queen band members Brian May and Roger Taylor will produce the film's music. Rock legends The Kinks are making a comeback. Veteran frontman Ray Davies revealed plans to perform with his brother Dave after healing one of the longest feuds in rock and roll history. And the pair intend to get out on the road, hinting at a huge festival date next year. The band, which also included Mick Avery and Pete Quaif, enjoyed huge success in the 1960s and 70s. Doctor Strange is the number one movie in the country right now, but not everyone is a fan, especially not Dr. Bill Strange, MD. Uh, no, it's not me. Thanks for calling. Hi folks, Bill Strange MD here with a message for people who keep showing up at my office expecting to meet a superhero. Yes, I am Doctor Strange, but not that Doctor Strange. So if you can stop disrupting my work there to ask, where's your cape? Or what's it like to levitate? Or will you show me how to shoot energy bolts? I'd appreciate it. I have a busy schedule, stopping every three minutes to respond to stuff like, you look fat for a superhero, or do all sorcerers have that much ear hair? It stresses me out. So to recap, yes, I'm Doctor Strange, but not THE Doctor Strange. And hearing comments like, do the other Avengers call you Grandpa? Or, are you crying? It's really starting to affect me. Okay, thanks. Gotta go. Somebody named Loki is in the waiting room. Hello, this is Doctor Strange. Uh, no, not that Doctor Strange. Game of Thrones author George R. R. Martin campaigned for Hillary Clinton in New Mexico. He hopes a Clinton presidency will give him more ideas for his stories about a land ruled by an evil queen. Donald Trump was speaking at a rally in Reno when a disturbance broke out and two Secret Service agents hustled him off the stage. They jumped into action and grabbed him like he was a woman's privates. Meanwhile, Trump is rumored to have had an affair with a former Playboy playmate while he was married to Melania. Hillary Clinton condemned Trump. Bill Clinton offered him a high five. Chicago had a victory parade for the Cubs. It was an unforgettable event that you'll someday tell your grandkids about. Oh, wait. Trump's going to kill us all in a nuclear fireball. Never mind. A runner from the country of Eritrea won Sunday's New York City Marathon. He also won the title of being the only person who's ever heard of the country Eritrea. Neiman Marcus is selling a turkey dinner for $500. The turkey is specially seasoned with the tears of poor people. An auction house is selling a pair of Levi's from 1893. The jeans are historically significant because they were a bat mitzvah gift for Larry King. A former investment banker was convicted for defrauding his family and friends of $38 million. That's going to make for an extremely awkward Christmas dinner. Time for Nobody Gives a F***. Trump TV has started holding auditions this week. Hey, that's got to be good news for Billy Bush, huh? Hey, Trump TV, nobody gives a f***. Melania Trump said that as first lady, she would lead the fight against cyberbullying. In other words, she'd change the password on Donald's laptop. Hey, Mrs. Trump, nobody gives a f***. And Caitlyn Jenner was reportedly shunned at Kendall's birthday party, mainly because everyone was like, hey, who invited Faye Dunaway? Hey, Caitlyn, nobody gives a f***. 
Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live, starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests featuring the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.